What is it? Yes. <gasps> When are we gonna see him get active like that? What? Good job! Welcome back! Hello, hold up, wait. Oh my gosh, hold up. Telltale. In vertigo, Telltale. Hello. Telltale. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of The Wolf Among Us. You already know where we are. If you don't, go watch the previous videos. I'm not gonna sit here and explain it to y'all. Let's get right into this action. It's part two of episode two. If you remember, the last the last person that we spoke to was Miss Ariel. Now she had a key. I'm, I'm explaining it anyway. What am I doing? Okay, just, 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 just go watch the video. Just go watch the video. But for those of you who watch the videos and still lost, here it goes. The Open Arms Hotel. Remember, we're looking for the John that Lily and Eric, wait, that Lily and Faith both shared. Let's get it, smile, you're on camera. Hello! All right. Soda machine, what they, what they got? She'll kill you. Colas will kill you? Okay, well, that's cause you're, that's good, that's cause you're a fable. <laughs> I love me some Sprite. You should probably repair that. I thought you said I should. I'm like, dude, you're a sheriff. Not not Bob. Is there anything like the lobby? They should cut their rates. Okay, I'm done examining. I'm done examining. This does nothing. Hello? I need some service. Hello? Wanted Ooh. by the hour or for the whole night? Oh, wow. This is really like... Oh, uh... You. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So, now you know. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. I mean... Beast is a proud man, Bigby. He wants to do right by me, and he, he just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. All of our friends live at the Woodlands. He'd be mortified. You should really tell Beast. He's worried about you. Yeah. I will, I will. I just need to in my own time. By the way, thanks for covering for me. So, what are you doing here? Um, I'm here to find- Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie, Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh, oh, yes, the, the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. I can imagine. She big as hell. She was looking good as as uh as Snow though. Let's let's be honest. Ever see Lily with anyone? Do you know Tweedledee? Have you seen Snow here? Did you know Faith? Um Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job. Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? That's all we get here, Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. I don't really care about the rest of this information, but do y'all see the sign on the back? Escorts NYC, there's a, there's a number to call. Give me a break. Thanks. Wait, it'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. What? Five minutes. Please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. So beauty in here working, trying to cover some bills for, for Beast, but won't tell Beast where she's working at. Um, that's... Listen, Bigby, I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something, which is fine. It's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see your report. 
It's just, well, you never know. It's not much of a report if I start picking and choosing which facts to include. I see. Do y'all well, hear that? Here we are. Which one was it? You can go up and, and listen to doors, I think. D! Okay, hold up. That's gonna get me demonetized. My last video got demonetized. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It's okay, YouTube. I knew it was coming. Hello! Alright. I don't want to waste any more time. Let's examine the bed. Find any clues you can. You get health inspectors through here very often? I don't know. What do you think? Why are you mad at me and I'm trying to solve a murder? You over here I'm lying- I'm not sure why they have desks in a place like this. Finding what you're looking for? I wasn't expecting much in here. But isn't this why you're here? Why you have the key? No. The key was just to be sure I found the right hotel. This isn't the room Lily was using. Oh. I thought what's-her-name was supposed to be meeting me over here. I thought that's why she gave me the key. Somebody getting plowed in so that other- are we done now? No. The room they met in was 207. Oh, gosh. Quiet down in there. You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. <laughs> Hold on, baby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. I mean, what if someone's in there? You can't just go barging in. I'm investigating a murder. I've got to check out all the angles. You never know what might be significant. Well, I guess. What are niggas doing right now? Hey, hey, what the fuck? Sorry. Oh, Jesus come on. Christ. You're gonna get me fired. I need this job. I have to do my job. It's not always convenient for everyone, but it does have to be done. How you gonna get mad and you over here got a job that your husband don't know about? Isn't that infidelity? Beauty? Freaking liar. Big lying scumbag. I don't care about the rest of these doors. Where did, where, bus up in here? 207. Open this one. I probably should look at them doors. I'm being impatient. That's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, shit. Beast? Is that who I. <gasps> Big B? <gasps> How could you do this to me? No, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been together through everything! I took care of you! I love- It's not what you think! Please! You're cheating on me! With him?! No! No, Beast! I promise I'm not! I'm Beast vs. Wolf? That's all! I'll bet! I'm sure you help each other just great! Relax, Beast. It's not what you think. Stop lying to me! This dude crazy! What the fuck is wrong with you?! She's my wife! Beast, listen to me. There's nothing going on. I'm mad. Ah! Hey, master! Oh. I guess I finally see you for who you are. Stop. You're not even scared. Stop it. A wolf of real one. Staying out of it. I thought I could trust you. I don't want to hurt you, so just calm down and. Beast. Oh, he listened. He li Oh, did he? Ah! He ain't listened to nothing. He said what one ear out the other. Hello. Going? Hold on, let me, let me. Okay, you okay. You aren't even listening to me. No, stop it. She's my wife, Big B. I told you. These dudes look like straight demons. Uh-huh. Watch what I'm going to do to your husband right now. Stop. This is what you get. This is what you get for keeping it from him. Now you got to watch him get his ass beat. Believe it, be. Believe it's it or not, fault. Beast, I'm doing you a favor right now. Please, no. Oh, that's the wild! Oh! Oh! This is a real demon! What is this guy? Ooh, demon 22! Hello! Good move! 
Oh, yep. Are you watching, Beauty? Bigby, no! Don't hurt him! Nah, this ain't even your fault. This ain't even your fault. Easter, you... Oh, you gotta die now. You gotta die now. Oh, that's me. You ruined everything! She's my fuck. You're not done? Nigga, sit down. <sighs> the big bad wolf is active. I'm about to go back and read your uh shit. Big read your read your lullaby. What have you done? I got in the room. That's what I did. His what, eyes all bleeding and shit. What is this? What are we big looking at? What you did to the door? You can't just act like this whenever Stand you Stand back. You you don't want to see this. Oh. Dude. Stay out. Beauty, stay in the hall. What? Why? What's going on? And she comes in. <gasps> oh my god. Don't touch anything. Is this Is this Lily met her client here, Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. I so that's... Yeah. Still, this is no place for someone like you. I mean, look. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary? There might have been some loud noises. I, I, I don't know. I mean, loud noises aren't out of the ordinary. I didn't hear anyone screaming or anything like that, but shouldn't I have? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But Just do what he says. I'll explain so later, okay? Something about her we don't know about. I, I, I feel it. I feel it. Something about her we don't know about. Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? I don't know. You That's let him exactly in. exactly what I'm about to try to find out. Something about beauty we don't know about. I can't believe this. Is a fresh cigarette? You gonna sniff it? It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked <laughs> that crap brand. Apparently not. It's the only brand in this funky city. What are you talking about? Cassette tape, but that's important for my arrival. What? Oh my gosh. Okay, so tell me why. You First of all, even be in here. All right, all right. Let me just keep playing. Beauty, why did you call Beast an idiot when you didn't even tell him you worked here in the first place? Someone Corset. Rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her and then and then he took it back off. Why well, do you know so much? It. it must have been torn some other time. Look at how she looking. I really hope it's not her, because I found out who it wine. Classy. What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Monday version of her story, anyway. What is it? The dress in the closet is the same as the one in this picture. Mm -hmm. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it to recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. I guess he wanted to get the details right. God, role-playing as a person who really exists, who we know, that's just weird. I'm not sure who to feel worse for. Ain't time to be making jokes. What are you talking okay. about? I take that back. What are you talking about? See, something about beauty is just off. The whole book is about her? Yeah. I can't even read this. <laughs> Was she breathing? Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. My lips are so dry, I, I lost my chapstick, so I'm gonna be licking them frequently. I'm sorry. Who needed? I need some more sayings. <laughs> All right. God. Okay, now were they listening to? Oh, I could put the cassette tape in the player. Hopefully, hopefully, nah, no, no, no. They didn't record the whole meeting. It's probably a song, exactly. 
This called a murder mixtape. Rico Reckless probably produced this one. <laughs> Bigby, this? I think I heard this music last night. It was playing pretty loudly for a while and then stopped in the middle. I didn't think twice about it at the time. I, I mean, you hear all kinds of things around here and I guess I've already gotten used to blocking them out. Could have covered up the sound of the murder. I don't know, because them people down the hall was getting it in pretty loud, and we was, we heard every, every thrust, every stroke. Hello! Beauty, are you? I'd better not find out you're hiding something from me about all this. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm not involved in this. Please, just do whatever you need to do, and let's get out of here. Whatever, I'm done talking to you. I'm done talking to everybody. Poor girl. Um, flower. Where'd you get that? Lily in the hand. hand. In case there was any doubt over who died here. Hmm. What? What are you thinking? Bigby! Sorry. It looks like Snow's coffin from the book. He's reenacted the scene with her lying here, surrounded by flowers. Mr. Smith put Lily to rest here. You're right. It fits. He's acting out scenes from the book. That poor girl. <sighs> she couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... We can't know the answer to that. Every situation is different. Yeah. Are we done here? She must have been so scared. I think we done here, right? Yeah, can we... Oh, we can't even turn that off. All right, let's 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 go. We've, we've seen everything there is to see in here. How can I find out who rented this room? Find whoever has the key? I'm pretty sure this one must be held long term. And we don't keep a register or anything. This place is intentionally kind of anonymous. I keep hearing that. Is there anything else you can tell me about last night? Anything that sticks out in your mind? Sorry, no, it just seemed like every other night does. That's exactly what's bothering me. From now on, I'll just be down there imagining this. Ugh. 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 Maybe what do you... she didn't see it coming. Examine the song. Examine the song. What do you want me to do here, Bigby? Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. Damn it. Get it together, beauty. Be strong. I'm ready to go. What, what what else? Under the bed, maybe? In one of these drawers? Out the window? Oh, what is this on the ground? What is that? An apple? Do you smell something? No. Just apple. Huh. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? Murder makes him hungry. She was eating when a tag. It's like the apple from the... Okay, I get it. It's yes. got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow's story. You've connected oh, the evidence. No. Do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. That makes perfect sense. He's just acting out another part of the book. God, I can see the whole picture now. It, it all goes together like you said. This creep put that girl in a Snow White dress and, and recreated the whole story from the book with the apple and, and the deep sleep and everything. He a freak with it. better detective than I thought you'd be. Thanks. So he planned it all out. He had oh all my the gosh. details noted down. Only then, when it comes time to kiss her and wake her up. Yeah. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. Man, I, 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 did, I thought she was out the room. I didn't want her to see this. 
Look how she acting, y'all. I think she planted all this. Are those pictures of the dead girl? Why my mail pop up? Not all of them. How do you know? I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Oh no. Bigby. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand-in for Snow is gone now, so... The next step closer. What is it? It's... <gasps> Crane. Yes, old man. Beauty, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because I was really over here like, you really... What? What? Oh my gosh. Put me after you now. Good. I am dying. Alright, 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 alright. Y'all got it. I am it. dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. Starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. Hello, Big B. Take care of it, Big B, or I'll take care of it for you. Jesus Christ, Big B. Is that you? <laughs> How did you respond to Crane about Snow's death? Only 12% of players accused him of not caring about her? We, I mean, oh, y'all, what, what were the rest of y'all doing? Just sympathizing with them? Like, oh, I know you loved her. Cut it out. How did you treat the murder suspect? You and 62% of players persuaded him to talk. Is that what I did? <laughs> I think I burned him, didn't I? Did you let Snow come with you to Trip Trap? Yeah, all of us did, because we're not about to let her just be by herself again, get murdered again. What? How did you handle Georgie Porgy? You and 69% of players didn't hit Georgie. I almost did. Uh, did you keep punching Beast when he was down? You and 77% of players opted not to hit Beast a second time. All right. One more is coming. Don't, don't, don't think it's gone. Yep, there it was. All right. Um, I'm gonna play a little bit of this next episode. So what I plan on doing, because I could already tell, I, I'm starting to get lost in this story. I really don't understand where this John thing came from, but hopefully they explain that when they start the next episode right here. Episode three, Crooked Mile. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's waste no time. I need snacks. Woo! Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill him. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. Already mad. Stop. I it. just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once, and. I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly, it's her sister Lily. She was hooking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. The open arms. Oh my god! What is it? <gasps> it's... Crane. All right, we really didn't get that far into the story. It's just we found out it was Crane who was messing with Lily. Wait a minute. Crane was there when we were doing the autopsy on that troll, which means he knew the whole time. He was just sitting there pretending. 
Oh my gosh. What? I mean, I'm fucking creep. Spineless little fucking rat. Crane? Ugh. God, you think you'd know a person. Biggie, or, you have to tell her. I know. Or it could be another glamour. What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... I just need to find Snow. Why? What's going on? Shit! Crane's been... <clears throat> oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? That perverted little fucker might be after Snow. I need to find her right now. Okay, it's, it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Big B! Wait. What? Snow's... <laughs> Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just... please be careful. What are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. Remember when we was checking out that troll's body? Crane didn't even want to be near that glamour black magic stuff. He was he was scared to even open it. I don't think he would have used it on himself. Wait, wait, that's not what I'm trying to say. Either he really did it, or he got accused, or, or like he's being framed to do this. Who just leaves a picture of themselves after fondling a, uh, a woman that they, that they finna kill in five minutes later? What are you talking about? That doesn't even sound right. I still think it's beauty deep down. Where am I? What? What? Some Illuminati stuff. Lily had many friends. Man, bust up in here, Big B Wolf. You beat anybody ass anyway. What y'all doing in? If you're here, then you were part of a very special circle. People she trusted and cared for. They're having a funeral. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I won't um, offend you by claiming one day that. That the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as Bottle well as of you liquor, know, a card to look subside. at, a card to look at, but a note to look at. Let's look at the note. The memory of Lily. You were a big, bright, well. shining star and it will, in this in shithole of a town. Equal in strength I miss you to already. mourning her loss. Grand. And it is in that spirit that I'd like to talk about what you've all been so. Now you will never with. die from indifference or lead a tedious How life. She could be Stubborn Goodbye, and sweetheart. patient. Thanks for Rash everything. and thoughtful. Vivian. How she carried a torch for the old Dece ways. Decent deep ass notes. For um, pageantry. And I'll most miss of all, worrying about it you. Seems how I'll miss our fights. Lily loved. I'll miss you. Dearly loved her Holly. friends and family. Why is this making me emotional? <laughs> I'm over here like, good lord. I never met Lily, but from what I've been told, I'm about I know to tear up and shit. Over a dead troll. Like to be here tonight. And now we'll have our um, moment of silence. Y'all ever lost Thank somebody? R.I.P. to all the loved ones lost. Um, come on, Snow. What do you mean, no? You just you just closed your sermon. Is there anything else to look at over here? Before I bust over there and get angry? All right, it's time. Big B, is everything okay? Oh, okay, I was about to say. No, not you. Why? Holly, it's- He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. What did I do? What did I do? We, we settled this in the bar. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here. Damn, is that after what I did? After you lie, after you promise me. Oh, her sister. Holly, sister's... wait, that was Crane, just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't 
cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Bigby gives a shit about this. Crane's a fucking prick, so this doesn't surprise me. Hey, what do you know? We actually agree on something. Bigby cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here, anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? Let everybody I know. I know who murdered your sister. Who? Maybe we should talk about this somewhere else? What? No, I deserve to know. I know, I... I know, but... This isn't the way to go about this. I don't give a fuck about the way. I don't care about procedure. If anyone should be told, it's me. It's us. Right now. Um... Came here to talk to Snow <clears throat> about this. No, screw that. My sister's dead, and I don't give a shit who she looked like when it happened. It's not about her. It's about Lily. Just tell us who it was. Okay, no. everyone, just stop. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat while everyone else gets back to the funeral. What? I'm not just gonna sit here Please, and... Please, I promise I will tell you what the hell is going on just as soon as I know there's something to tell, but... Just let us do our jobs first. That's why I tried to wave you over in the beginning, no, Snow. Holly, I know how this must... No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? Holly, I didn't even want to crash this, okay? I had to, because of Snow. I'll be out of here soon. See that you are. See that you are. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. These girls look good, I'm not even gonna lie to you. Hookers or not, still beautiful souls. Bro, every time I start recording, people start blowing the line up. Okay, Help. you think you know who the killer is. What have you got? Um... Pigby? How do I say this? What's going on? Lily there we go. was Crane's prostitute. I followed a lead to this shithole motel, The Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was, you know. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. To not picture him. We should go. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Deposing Crane would be the next step. And if we get this wrong, it would mean more than our jobs. We'd get kicked out of Fable Town for messing all of this up man, so badly. She, man, show her the picture so she can stop doubting you, Bigby. I know you didn't want to do it, but she needs to see it. Look at him fingering her like... You took a cab here, right? Yeah. I'll drive. Snow? Nerissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be... Um, no, I understand. Are you okay? You don't have to do this right now. I'll be fine. How'd it go? At the motel, did you find anything? Yeah, I'll say. No? Um... Yeah. Lily was killed there. It was an awful mess. I don't think that's the case, though. Oh. I'm sorry. Nerissa! Yeah, um... Coming! I still think it's beauty. I absolutely still think it's beauty. Constable? Oh, wait, wait, wait. This? Easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? 
How do you do? I can tell you to run, but it won't do any good. Just make it more fun for me. What are you Whoa. dreaming about? You ain't a fast enough pup to prevent me from emptying both barrels into Snow White's face over there. I'm still hurting, you know, from our talk in the cell. And I'll be honest, I'd love nothing more than to carve a sweet poem right into your face for the suffering you've caused me. But I am a professional, and we're here for a job. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. Just sit in your office and whistle to heaven for a few short days. You have three seconds to fuck off before this goes to a place you don't want it to. <laughs> so I don't have my stopwatch on me. Now so think about it. it. Be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone and we leave you to yours? No. Brother, speak your mind fastly now. Stay quiet. What's it gonna be? Stay quiet. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your... What deal? Settle down, settle down now. Stay yeah, everyone, quiet. just stay where you are. Nice and natural. Stay like quiet. we're just out having a spring picnic. This is a private matter between Big B and us. So if you all just please. What did oh. I tell you? What did I say? Ali? You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Holly, don't move. Holly, let me handle this. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. Oh! I'm gonna kill you! Please tell me Holly isn't dead. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? And then they go. Episode three, A Crooked Mile. So tell me this y'all. How is it that those two dumb brothers knew that I was gonna go after Crane? When the only people that knew that was Beauty and Beast. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Big B, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <sighs> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. Where is Crane? I can't take it easy. I have to... I have to find Crane. Bigby? What's wrong? Lack of sleep for one thing. Getting shot for another. He'll be fine. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived. So I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. <laughs> Everything in moderation. Look, I'm not the one who creates the situations. I'm just the one who has to deal with them. So you say. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, he got a little message for office. me. I know. I'll have to call you back. 
The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. So, to recap... Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. Oh, we know this, because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But, I, I don't know. We don't have time to wait for the mirror. Crane could be getting on a train right now. Well, I don't want to just go running off into the night without some direction. What the hell is going on? Just, I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is going to sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? No. Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. I don't know. Just doesn't make sense. He's... he was a conniver, a... a coward, a liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he... held me in his thoughts. Ugh. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I'm glad you were there. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least, I hope so, for her sake. Can I, um, ask you a question? It's kind of personal. And... I don't want to offend you. Man, come on. Sure. It's just... When stuff hits the fan, like... Like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city. It feels... Kind of like home. And I've heard it said that... Maybe in... Some... Tiny little bottled up way, deep inside... You kind of... Enjoy it. When things go wrong. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. I guess it doesn't matter. Cause I don't know what you're talking about. What are you talking about? Uh, what, guys, what is this right now? We have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's, uh... It's not here. Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. All right. How long will it take for the mirror to reform? Well, it could take days. Or months, or years. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can still solve this ourselves. I know never that Never mind that. Come help me look. Buffkin, you are so ugly, my dude. This game kind of slow. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, find anything? Come no, on. But there's enough notes and stuff here to take all night. Maybe check that stuff there. Oh, my fault. Let me let me come back around. My fault. Oh my gosh! Come. Oh. Uh. Are there any updates on the extra funding I requested? Blame. 
Uh, open this. Thank you, you're way stronger than that. Come on, y'all hits over here licking at each other. Man, come on now. And There's it goes a page here that was torn out. Oh yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what? What witch? What meeting? Well, he called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. I'm sure it's about this ring. They must have it. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. <clears throat> he set the meeting at 2 a.m. Tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me I called to... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? I tried this to, but... This isn't your concern. Bluebeard, get the hell out of here. This is none of your business. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. What do you know about Crane, anyway? That he has the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex-frightened serial killer and not face a real challenge. Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not officially. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. Bluebeard and Evil Lee. Are All right, gonna... let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And okay. a few shorter hours, the more you babble about it. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? Very true. It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. Look, chances are I'll have to swing by both anyways. No, so. chances are you won't have time. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Fine, I don't care. Just go ahead. We can't just let Bluebeard run amok in Crane's place. Ha! He's after something. I just don't know what it is. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. 
Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Damn, we just call him. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. But that's the thing. Go, Bigby? I want to go to where Tweedledee and Tweedledum are, but I don't want this man rummaging through do what's his name stuff. Through uh, Ichabod stuff. But at the same time, if I go so to Ichabod's leave office. Alone, and we leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. I think so I'm gonna leave go. Crane alone? No, I'm, I'm better a... off. The witch's yeah, a... identity yeah. must be with Lily's stuff. I should go see Holly first. Perfect. And I'll go to Crane's apartment. I'll check in with you later. I hope you know what you're doing. Because honestly, Holly's, Lily's stuff is the most reliable. She's dead. Ichabod probably not going to leave no witch's number in his office. And Tweedledee and Tweedledum not going to tell me a damn thing. I wanted Bluebeard to go see the dumb dumb dudes so he could go kill one of them just because, you know? But obviously, he's not going there. <laughs> she's asleep, you fucking idiot. Man, kick the door down. Hey! Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. <laughs> he always well, feel bad. Come on in, buddy. Brent, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah. I'll only be here two minutes. I just need to check through Lily's things. <laughs> Whatever. Is he cool with me now, or is he just drunk? Man, don't try no weird stuff, Grin. I do not need that right now. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Grin, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it You think I you. give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Damn. Grin, you should have caught a body what? last time. Really, you, you shouldn't drink right now. I can't hear you when you mumble. Swinehart told me that Holly was here. I need to talk to her. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? Well, the doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. Some crackhead shit. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Bigby, stop him then. Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. Have you seen her sister's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral? I saw her come in with something, but I didn't see where she put it. Nope, haven't seen it. Oh gosh, she about to transform. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. <clears throat> Talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? You think I shot up the place? It wasn't my fault. They got away though, didn't they? You had them pinned down. Whatever. What you talking about? It's all right. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. And we're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, what? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith, 
And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. No! Ben Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. It's just a quick slug. In my face, nigga. That dirty ass drink, nigga. You know you shouldn't be taking okay, that shit. Guys, easy now. We'll help you. I'm in my happy place right now, Wolf. Pump the brakes, will you? Show me the stuff. I'm you nigga trying to party and shit. Come Ram, on now. The doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back. I said I was sorry, all right? I can't do anything about it. It's done. <laughs> Man, separate these two drunk idiots. What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? Cut this shit out now. I don't care what it's about. Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing? Whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You smashing trolls? <laughs> what? You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a lowlife. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. Wait, wait. I've got some questions for you. What possible questions could you have for this piece of shit? Let me think of them real quick. Everything's a problem when I want to talk. There you but go. when the woodsman's about to leave, it's, oh wait, I have questions. What do you want? When Tweedledee came in here two nights ago, why'd you run? I was scared, okay? I didn't want to go down for something I didn't do. I never would have hurt that girl, Bigby. All right. One question? Oh my gosh, give me a break. Gren. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the rule. Thanks for the... Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. <laughs> Grant won't remember this. They tell, tell over here telling jokes and shit? Come on, now. Hmm, Holly. Okay, I take back what I said in previous videos. Sorry for your loss. We won't be starting families. Goodbye. Let's just go through her stuff real quick. Is that it down there? Big ass troll arm. Oh, oh, so examine does do something. How crazy is that? <sighs> what did you just pull off your face? Oh gosh, she's awake now. That you, Woody? <sighs> Woody? Is that you? Woody, bar's closed. And Lily ain't around anyway, so you can run off back to the woods, I guess. And take your ass to sleep. And let that medicine hit you. Did you care about her at all? She was a nice girl. Ran around too much, but a nice girl. 
I thought you were a friend. Ain't nobody talking to talking to you. I'm trying to solve this mur this murder, and you over here sleep talking off some off some uh, peroxide. I don't know why you fucking came here. There's nothing left for you to ruin. And I'm not in an entertaining mood. See, she 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 don't really care. Um The longer I, I ignore her, I think the more chance I come on, find it. Lily's find the... funeral. It was just so fucked tonight. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he if he cares about it. If he even gives a shit. Damn, Bigby. I don't know. I don't know why he showed up. I just wish he'd get out of my fucking life. Stay quiet. Stay quiet. But, you know, it's not like Keith. What? Get out of there, Big B. If you were getting your glamour on this day, then one of these has to be the witch. But, which one? Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Big B. Is anyone there? Big B, if you're there, pick up, okay? I never know. Hey, uh -huh. I just wanted to see how it was going. Did you find anything? Just an address book with her contacts initials. Not sure which one is the witch, though. Strange. These people keep cropping up. Before a few days ago... Hey, did you know that the woodsman was sleeping with Lily? Like a... what? A, a customer? Yeah. Okay, is this really important right now? I guess not. You should try going up to Crane's place. I sent Buffkin up there to check on things. Bluebeard, you know. Or you could try at the Tweedle's office. Just make it quick. We don't have a lot of time. The meeting is at two. Let's go... Crane's I'll already at the apartment. Place. See what I can find there. Sounds good. Just keep me posted. In the meantime, I'll see what I can do on this end. Okay. Good luck, Bigby. We'll find him, Snow. I hope you're right. I honestly don't think Bluebeard is that bad of a person to where he would, like, try and cover up a murder. I think he may have something against Crane. And he's probably up there snooping in some he probably don't need to be. But Tweedledee and Tweedledum are clear enemies. Excuse me. Oh, hi. If you don't... Sure, great, great to see you. I don't know if you remember me. Yeah, I've, uh, uh... Seen you around, They just talking. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You, you've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <laughs> I think I've lost count. But you know, Crane, uh, let me go recently. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's no big deal. So, what brings you here? I mean, can I help you with anything? Are you here to see one of the brothers? D or dumb? Have you seen a witch come by? Um, I don't know. Sometimes. Really? But Who is she? Do you know where she lives? Uh, I don't know her name or where she lives, really. She just sometimes drops stuff off for the brothers to deliver. Deliver to who? I've never had any reason to see for myself. Sorry. It's been uh, a quiet night so far. I think the twins are out, probably working on a case. Sometimes I don't see them for days. Let me get in their room. They gave me the job after Crane told me to get lost. Where's their office? Oh, right this way. I, I was going there next anyway. I can let you in if you want. You can wait for them there. Sure, thanks. No problem. I'm gonna have to take a look around. Uh... Well, I, I guess that would be okay. I wasn't really asking for permission. Right, you're the sheriff. I just don't want to get in trouble or anything. Do me a favor. I'm sure it's fine. Take the hat off. I mean, they never told me not to let you in. Don't worry. I won't get you in trouble, all right? Right. Uh-uh. 
<laughs> He's like, you know, I gotta clean that. Why are you in here sweeping while I, oh, I mean, he is at work. You doing me a favor, let me calm down. What is that, a brick cigar box? I knew it. Where the cash at, where the, where the cash at? Mm. You know about this? Nah, uh, no. Mm. Dear Brother D, I think we should get ourselves a dog. Sincerely, Brother Dunn. He actually mailed this? They do have their quirks. <sighs> this is pointless. Dear Brother Dunn. Oh I my dogs, gosh. You know it. Sincerely, Brother D. Couple of freaks. <sighs> I, I know these guys can come off abrasive at times, but... They aren't so bad once you get to know them. And they really care about helping people. Oh. They're kind of loud at times. How do you mean they help people? They're detectives. Anyone can come in here with a problem and they'll do their best to fix it. The way D explains it, it's like if someone lost their cat, well, they could hire them to, you know, track it down. Or like sometimes they get packages for people. They can be like couriers, you know? You mean for people other than the witch? Oh, yeah. All kinds. Come to think of it, I don't really know where they keep them. Anyways, I'm just saying, you, you just don't know them like I do. Sure, flycatcher. <laughs> I'm sure you have your reasons, but it's just the... Let's see if they've got a file on a crane. I'm sorry I'm not talking as much this episode, y'all. It's just, I don't know. It's not really like Crane. I don't know. He owes the crooked man money. Shit. How is he planning to pay this all back? Request for property acquisition. Further details filed under donkey skin. Mm. Crane hired them to look for a photo? Why did he want it back so badly? Oh, you know I'm checking that beauty file next. So that's why they were at her apartment, and the woodsman's place. Ah. Uh. See, I knew you wouldn't find anything. Anything of interest, anyways. They're, they're detectives, like I said. Just, just trying to make an honest living. See? I'm just saying. Look, just trust me on this. Tweedledee and Dumb are not nice. They're not helping anyone. Well, they helped me. Okay, great. They helped you. That's one person. Now, please, just let me concentrate here. Beauty? Come on, give me something, please. Beauty's in debt to the crooked man? Shit. Cinderella, what? Crispin says somewhere. <laughs> okay. Who is Brannigan? Bro, I got this key in my pocket. I'm about to put it in something. Detective Pause. Brannigan. Keep an eye on her. All right, Find close him? it up. Not what I need. What if, what if you're wrong about them? I'm not. They're misunderstood, sure, but that doesn't mean everything people say about them is true. I mean, you know, like when I think about it, you guys aren't that different. You help people, and they help people. Not that it's any of my business, but... Let's get one thing straight. They are nothing like me. Big B? Shit. There's something here. I know there is. There has to be. Why would there be anything because to... Because they're lying to you, okay, Flycatcher? That's why. They aren't detectives. You do not know this man. Stop t stop saying so much because you mad. Bigby, what happened to your... Oh, I'm bleeding through you my shirt. Know what this is? This is them showing up to Lily's funeral with fucking shotguns. I tell him I, not I'm to... S I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, 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 I didn't know. Stay quiet. Listen to me. What's the point of having the X button if you're just going to tell him anyway? Now the, now the second they walk in the door, fly, fly head going to tell him exactly what you just said. Then they gonna know not to come back here. Uh, I, I didn't mean to. There's a door behind this file cabinet. 
Now, I don't know what they keep back here, but it might be what you're looking for. Well, that key you found should work. Yep. Come on. What's back here? Come on. There you go. There you go. What's down here? What's going on? Come on. I, I, th this episode is not immersive. Wow. I think that's what it is. Y'all probably immersed at home right now, though, because y'all can rewind and watch videos back. I'm over here playing it fresh. I probably look so stupid. I'm probably missing every clue. All this stuff I have to examine. Crooked man. Who is For the... your collection. What is that? No idea. Pretty sure it's something they aren't supposed to have. This isn't the witch, though. Boy. What are you looking for, exactly? Maybe I can help. Anything about Crane. Or the witch he was using. Something. Hold for BCW. <laughs> Big ass shroom. JD. J Dizzle. A book. This doesn't really tell us much. Oh my gosh, then why are we examining it? Butcher. There it is. What is this stuff? That's not a glamour in there? Oh my gosh. Who is the crooked man? I'm sorry, I know I'm late. I'll get it to you soon. Ichabod Crane. Who was he sending money to? Crooked man. Care of the lucky pawn. You know what that is? Um. Leave this drug blood money. We don't want that. That evidence? Is that what you needed? I don't think so, but it's interesting. There's more going on here. I still need to find that witch, though. <sighs> okay, and what is this thing? The scale? They down here really doing drugs, but that's not even telling me anything. So, Beast, do you want me to, I mean, <laughs> do you want me to take the money or not? Hey. Oh, oh it's dude, something dude. else. What's up with you? Do you think, after all this, do you think I could come back to the Woodlands? Since Crane let me go, I mean, I can still work here, but... You should talk to Snow. Maybe there's something she can do for you. Really? That would be... Thank you. It's Snow's hair. Snow White? Why w We found her hair like this inside Lily's glamour. Anti-Greenleaf. This must be the witch Crane was using. Finally! I guess D and Dumb were getting the hair for Crane and sending it to her? That's not a pleasant thought. Anti-Greenleaf? Mm-hmm. A-G? Mm-hmm. This is mm -hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Call the business office. Tell Snow I'm heading to this address. Have her meet me there. Let's go. Let's go! Finally! Some action! 